All right, look what we got over here. We got an Audi on jack stands. No wheels, because got some fresh tires over here for this thing. Um, I might be selling this. I don't know. Um, now that I got the transfer case and everything fixed on the Silverado this past spring or late winter, whenever that was, this thing doesn't have too much of a need or a purpose. Um, I bought it a couple years ago off, off a of buddy for a really good deal. Um, used it primarily in the winter with obviously taking advantage of the all wheel drive. Um, it is a pretty cool car. Um, just looking at it here, this big crack expanded on the windshield that wasn't here before. It's like originally there was a tiny crack. Uh, maybe that's where it always was, but it got a lot worse. But anyway, um, it's like everything I own has cracks. But um, yeah, got this thing, uh, I don't know, whatever it was, two years ago now. Um, and I never really planned on keeping it too long. I did have kind of a crazy idea to convert it into kind of a, a goofy little race car. Um, in fact, it's ironic if you watch, what is it, Boosted Boys, one of the YouTube channels. They're doing something very similar with a... Um, all-wheel drive Tesla, which ironically was an idea I had somewhat similar to do to one of these. All-wheel drive, V8, aluminum chassis. This thing's a big car, but it's not terribly heavy. But anyway, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Maybe nothing, but uh, yeah. So new tires on this, and then who knows? Maybe it'll be for sale. But um, yeah, this video is not really about that. I have the Buick over here. I actually had that out on the road. Few days ago took it for a spin running good need to get it back to the track but um no this video is about the uh the s10 over here um i have a couple older clips one that was shot probably in the spring i guess because there's a little bit of snow on the ground and one that was about a week or so ago so that's basically what this video is going to be um but yeah and you'll see right away that obviously the truck it probably looks good in the video but she's a little rough but um yeah so still um some things i want to do to it basically this video talks about fixing the exhaust but primarily talks about my plan to kind of make a um, wide body um s10 now wide body in quotes because it's not really changing the body itself it's more just Making the stance a little bit wider, which I guess technically that's what it is, um, with fender flares. So check out the, the video here. And then, uh, yeah, obviously this is real time. It's not finished, but uh, yeah, a project we're, uh, we're working on. This beater. I think I did one video on this thing so far. Um, but this is a 95 Chevy S10. I've had this thing forever. Um, Two-wheel drive. 4.3 v6 five speed it's kind of the best little two-wheel drive combo they had um kind of a base model truck a little rough <laughs> yeah, the grill's been replaced and it's already cracked cheap version um it's got a um more or less a two three lowering kit on it uh i can't remember i think it's they're not spindles it really should be but um, they're two inch springs in the front, they're DJM, and then they're three inch leafs, uh, lowering springs in the back. Settle a little bit more, so it's not quite a three four, but it's closer to that than really a traditional two three uh, drop. But of course you probably see this nice dent on the side here, it happened years back in a parking lot. Someone just drove into me. Um, paint's pretty bad, but you know, old beater, I've had this thing forever, it's just kind of a fun truck. Um, Got about 200,000 miles and just keeps on going. But anyway, I think I did another video, which was an intro. Um, but the point of this one is two parts. One, I should probably clarify a little better light here. The IROC wheels that it currently has on here with 225 and 245 tires. Uh, they're the 16s. They're kind of like the later generation IROC wheels. And then they had a rattle cam paint that's coming off and... They were kind of a gold wheel, if you can tell a little bit. Some of the gold starting to pop through again. But these are actually going to go back on the Camaro. Uh, and the Camaro currently has 
it's original uh, 85 to 87, I think, 16 inch IROC wheels that are also rattle cam black. Um, but this has 255, 60, 16 Toyo Proxy, basically almost like a autocross tire, street legal DOT tire. But um, I think in other video and more videos to come, this thing is going to be kind of converted to a street strip car. Um, having the vet that's I'm off my shadow there having the vet in here that's really the it's, it's such a good you know um, street car as far as taking corners handling things like that that this car is going to take a little bit different role and be more of a you know street strip performance straight line type of car um it's an automatic whereas the vet's a manual so kind of better suited that way anyway the point of this is these wheels and tires are going to go on this but that being said it's a little more than that got something over here jungle fender flares trying to see block my shadow a little so you can see that um these are actually zr2 style fender flares for a non zr2 truck so they're slightly different molds and these are not oem this is a company u.s company but didn't realize but made in thailand um the only complaint i have with these and i'll just do a quick kind of like show you what the fitment is they go on they should fit good this is just a kind of rough approximate of how it's going to fit in this little gap sorry with the camera here but basically it'll it'll fit in there and molds well they didn't provide you can't really see they didn't provide any extra lip on the inside to mount these. So I'm going to have to get some material, probably aluminum. These are fiberglass. And add it onto here. Add a couple extra inches and then mount that to the inner fender. Because I don't really want to put anything into the actual outside of the fender. Even though these things are old and beat up anyway. So probably not going to be mounting these up today. Because a little bit of fabrication needed. But this is more swapping wheels and tires. And then the last thing, which is over here, spacers. Because I believe the 80, the early 80s IROC wheels and the late 80s IROC wheels are the same backspacing. 100% sure. But I have old spacers i've had forever i don't even know what i had on these cars or had what car i'd use these for but this is um i think a one inch these are two inch there's actually a spacer currently on the rear wheels here inch and a quarter inch and a half because the front and rear iowa wheels have different back spacing so just to pull the back out a little bit so it doesn't look tucked in so anyway we're gonna do some wheel swap in here play around with these spacers see how far out we can get these wheels see how far out the fender flare really is and by the way i should probably point out uh wheel spacers not exactly the right way to do this but eh, whatever so um see how far we can get these out to in turn match the fender flares to give this thing a uh kind of a wide body look so call this the poor man's wide body i don't really want to mess with the fenders pull them out do any metal work here this is going to be a much simpler so all right enough talking here let's uh let's get these wheel swapped so i just test fitted uh, both fender flares and this is what i came up with um the rear with the fender flare is almost two inches one and seven eighths out past if i'm kind of looking straight down there out past right about there so it's an inch and seven eighths out inch and five eighths in the front and not surprisingly like most vehicles especially trucks the front fender actually slopes slightly inward so it's a little more in here than out there but so this one is not uh, but just about an inch and a half right there so when we're looking to space these wheels um ideally just have them i don't know an inch out maybe We'll see, depending on what I have here. And this is just kind of just temporary, but yeah. Um, about an inch out, which means obviously that's why 
this truck couldn't be a lot lower because it's only gonna have that little bit of ground clearance and the top of the tire would actually potentially hit the wheel well there. So anyway, let's, uh, let's see what we can come up with with the spacers that we uh, have over here. Well, I'm an idiot. I lost the key for the locking lug nut that I actually forgot were on these uh, wheels on the S10. Um, I've had them forever, but uh, I think I might have thrown it out by mistake. Who knows? So, well, we got to get them off one way or another. So I have this threaded tool. I don't know what you want to call it. It's a, something you can put on an impact and then it actually will thread into the outside of the lug nuts, a couple different sizes, and should lock in and spin it off. So let's uh, let's mess around and see if we can get it on here or get it off. All right, no idea if this is gonna work, but let's find out. That's a big negative. Just spins. Probably works more on. I don't know if this is coming up in the camera here. Probably works more on lug nuts like this that you can actually get some teeth and grip on. Not a perfectly smooth one. So we're going to have to figure something else out here. Okay, so that first part is left off, obviously. Didn't really get anything completed. Issue with the lug nuts down here, which are still the same case. Um, lost the uh, lost the key for this. I don't know how I did that. But anyway, um, I've had a few. This was back in the spring, and I have a few ideas since then. I had this issue on another vehicle a little while back, and I was able to get a... I don't even know what size it was. It was a 12-point socket that I kind of hammered on here, and then I was able to... Um, take these lock lug nuts off. I might try that. The other thing I thought of was maybe using a uh, grinder. You gotta be so careful because the wheel here, but maybe putting a notch in this and then trying to chisel it off. I don't know. They do make better quality lug nut removal, whatever you want to call it. So I could try that as well. But anyway, gotta figure that out. Mess around with a few things. I don't care if I destroy the lug nuts, but uh, yeah. Put the different wheels on and then try this uh, wide body kit, but check out the part two here. All right, something a little different here. Got the old S10 out. Uh, this is my 95 S10. I think I've done a video or maybe some videos, can't remember on this thing. Um, but two wheel drive, five speed, um, man, five speed manual V6, lowered. Um, kind of a sporty little truck, had it forever. As you can probably see, it's Desperately needs a freshening. Bumper's all chipped. Paint's horrible, but needs a windshield. But anyway, task I'm doing here. Got the welder out. Um, and I am not a welder, just to clarify. But uh, I have this piece of pipe here. Just an 18-inch, um, ex whatever, extension. 3-inch. Uh, it's got the little, uh, this end's been expanded a little bit to slide on. But the reason I have this is the original exhaust setup I put on this thing many years ago it was kind of rotted away and I had to cut off a portion because it was literally falling off. So if you kind of see over here, I don't know it's creeper here, but I guess you can kind of see. Oh yeah, you can see. So here is an old Flowmaster. I think it's a single chamber, uh, three inch in and out exhaust muffler. I can't remember what model it is, but. Pretty loud. Um, it used to come off here and then curve and kind of come out here somewhere. But like I said, over time it kind of rusted away. So it had been cut off. I actually put an extension on it and like with a turn down, but I only clamped it on, and that apparently loosened up and fell off. So what I'm going to do, pretty simple, is just add get in here this piece on here which will slide right on and it'll 
sit up a little higher than that. That's kind of hanging down. But it doesn't seem like much. But what that's going to do is going to be huge for resonance. Obviously, it's not really going to change volume much at all. But currently, the way this thing is, the um, it actually dumps out. You can kind of see it more if I move back a little bit here. So the cab's right here. So it's probably four to six inches before the end of the cab that uh, it dumps out. So it creates some funky resonance and it's just really loud. Not like I said, not gonna make it quieter, but that extension will be much better in the cab. Um, so anyway, um, simple little thing um, I'm gonna do. And uh, yeah, just a little S10 update. Oh, got the, uh, got the vet out so she's dirty but it looks good from far but anyway okay well definitely not a welder i'm gonna blame it on the wind that's that's the reason why it wasn't very good but it's um it's there a little black paint kind of hides things <laughs> but it's welded it's not going anywhere i think i did probably put a little too much angle down but this is just a temporary thing. It's gonna be way better than it was before. So anyway, uh, yeah, welding, oh, sorry about that. Welding complete. Uh, just a little tiny thing I did here on the uh, S10, but uh, yeah, this truck, oh, hello. This truck uh, needs a little work. Needs a cleaning, needs some cosmetic stuff. The windshield's looking I don't know if you can see that, but the windshield's looking amazing, as in not good. But anyway, maybe it won't quite sound quite as bad. So just one little thing completed. So on to the next. Okay, well, that's where we're at. Uh, new exhaust on. Definitely sounds pretty good. Well, I should rephrase that. It um, technically sounds the same other than some resonance is gone but inside the cab it sounds way better i think if you were standing 10 feet behind the truck it really didn't change anything but it's way nicer to drive now so eventually i don't know if this would have a v8 or a, new, a freshened up v6 or maybe even a four cylinder who knows i don't know what the drivetrain really looks like in the future but for now it's back to running back to sounding good so yeah i think uh I think that's it for now. So uh, more to come on this one and all the other stuff. So thanks for watching. See you in the next one.